Hi, welcome back to Humble Homemaking. How fitting for this video that Atlas decided to throw a temper tantrum right before I turned on my camera. But we're okay now. We are settled, gave him some food, so let's get into the video. There is no such thing as terrible twos. Let me repeat myself for the people that are doing double takes right now or scratching their heads or thinking that I'm absolutely insane. There is no such thing as terrible twos. Ah, you heard me right. You wanna know what's terrible? Adults throwing temper tantrums. That is terrible. This may come as a surprise to some of you, but do you know those temper tantrums that your toddler likes to throw? Yeah, they're normal. Totally normal. Let's talk about the brain a little bit. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for things like memory, focus, attention, planning, problem solving, and, and developing personality when it fully matures around the age of 25. Yes, 25 years old. Some research will even show that it isn't fully matured until age 30. Crazy, right? What does this mean? This means that trying to get a two-year-old to understand logic and reasoning is nearly impossible. What can we do as parents when our children are throwing these temper tantrums? Well, for one, we can practice patience. Practice empathy towards them and pay attention to their emotions. And remember that they don't understand things the way that most adults understand things. And I say most adults because there is a small fraction of adults in our society today that still throw temper tantrums because they're not getting their way. Do not take these temper tantrums personally. You are not a bad parent because your child is throwing a temper tantrum. Please don't think that your child is going, hee hee hee, what can I do to make my mom really mad today? I'm gonna throw a temper tantrum. To control your emotions when your child is throwing a temper tantrum. As a parent, learn to be proactive rather than reactive. So what is the difference between proactive and reactive in a situation like a toddler throwing a temper tantrum? Let's go over reactive first. Reactive is screaming at them while they're throwing a temper tantrum because they got to you and you got your feelings involved and now you're mad at them. Proactive, on the other hand, is having a list of things ready in order to de-escalate the situation. Now, it depends on where you're at where you'll be able to use these the list of things to de-escalate the situation. For example, when we're at home and Atlas is throwing a temper tantrum, we resort to our board jar, which I will go over in another video. And also other things are taking him into a different room in the house to play with something or to look at something or taking him outside for fresh air. Uh, if we're out if we're out in public, de-escalating the situation when he's throwing a temper tantrum could mean trying to distract him by pointing things out. We try to ask him where certain things are in the store or if, if he sees things and so that his mind gets distracted and he starts to look around for those things instead of trying to fixate and focus on what he's throwing a temper tantrum about. Something that is not a big deal to you is a huge deal to your child. So for example, Atlas was drinking out of his sippy cup and he just recently figured out how to unscrew the lid off of his sippy cup and he spilled his milk all over the floor. And he started freaking out because it got all over his foot and all over the kitchen floor. And, and so what I did was I led by example. Oh no, did you spill the milk? Let's just clean this up, it's no big deal. You wanna help mommy clean it up? And that distracted him and that made him realize that it's not that big of a deal. Now when he accidentally spills something or drops something, he tries to get a paper towel or a towel so that he can clean up his mess rather than having a full on temper tantrum because he spilled something. Sometimes no matter what you do, no matter how much you try to deescalate the situation or no matter how much you prepare yourself to be proactive in these situations, a temper tantrum is going to ensue. Like I said in the beginning of the video, it is totally normal for them to have temper tantrums. And in this particular situation, all you can do is be there for your child. Instead of getting mad because you, you can't figure out what to do to stop their temper tantrum or you're getting frustrated with them, just get on their level and tell them that you're here for them. Rub their back, give them a hug, tell them that you're there for them and make sure that they're in a safe spot where they're not gonna hurt themselves. So if they're throwing a temper tantrum and they start thrashing their body back and forth, make sure that they're not going to hit their head or their arm or their leg into a, an, a table leg or 
onto the wall. Make sure that they're in a safe zone when they're throwing these temper tantrums and you can't get them to stop. To, and to just remind yourself that their brains aren't fully developed. Sometimes what I do when Atlas is throwing this temper tantrum is I look at him and I go, okay, yeah, his brain is still not fully mature. Toddlers are really good at throwing temper tantrums, but they're even better at forgetting why they're throwing a temper tantrum once it's over. Sometimes you just have to wait out the storm, wait for the waters to calm, and they'll forget about it, and so will you. It's not the end of the world. All in all, parenting at the toddler stage can be challenging, but with every single stage of their development, new challenges arise. Where together you and your child overcome old challenges, new challenges are going to come up. It is a never-ending ride, and there is always going to be challenges. The best thing that we can do is be proactive in our parenting approach. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you gained something from it. If you liked this video, of course, hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment. If you are not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you don't miss my future videos. I am off to go and make lunch for Atlas and I. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.